Hi, this is Mark from AudioIdiots.com. AudioIdiots.com provides a lot of information on old Sony equipment with a lot of scanned catalogs. In this video, I show you how to clean the electrostats of the following models. Sony SA-S1, SA-EX100, SA-EX200, SSH-7900. Remove the back cover by unscrewing 6 screws, but be careful before removing the back. The back is connected with two connectors for power and line. The top cover is mounted with four screws to the bottom and four screws to the front. The four screws to the front require a very long Phillips screw driver. The SAEX100 has three cables running down from top to the back. Tape a cable or some rope to the cables so that you can easily pull them back later. Remove the rubbers of the cover. The screws are behind those rubbers. Be careful when removing the front cover. The power LED has a small connector and cable attached to it. Peel off the rubber that's at the bottom of the electrostats. Now gently pull the two plastic layers from each other. Try not to break the thin plastic layer of the electrostats that's in the middle and do not bend the connector for cable at the bottom.
The electrostat is built up from the following components. A plastic cover, a metal O-shaped plate, then a metal plate with holes in it that's attached with glue to a plastic film that's attached to a plate, and then another metal plate with holes that's attached to the other side of the plastic film. Then some thin black rubber and again a hard plastic cover. Gently remove the first hard plastic cover. Then time to pry off the plate with small holes from the plastic thin film. Be very careful if you rip the plastic, your tweeter is dead. Now do the same to the other side. Carefully try to pry off the thin metal plate with holes from the film. Now take all the components apart so that you can clean them easily. Now clean the metal plates and a metal plate with a plastic film with a degreaser. After the degreaser use water to clean them properly and dry them. Now we're ready to assemble. Take the hard plastic cover without the screw holes. Next is the plate with the film. Put it in with the black rubber facing down. After that, the metal plate O-ring with the white cable. And finally, second plate with holes with the red cable. Carefully align it and then finally the hard plastic cover with the holes to mount it. Tighten the electrostat with six screws. Mount the electrostat to the front cover. Mount the front cover to the front of the loudspeaker, but first connect the power LED. Pull back the cable in the same way you did earlier by taping a piece of cable or rope to the three connectors and pulling it back. Mount the top cover. Use pointy screws for the wood at the top of the loudspeaker. Use 
use the stubby screws for the front plastic cover. When connecting the back cover, first make sure you connect the two connectors before you screw everything together. <laughs> 